Mama, tabangin ko ko sa home module. Ay na, mag-deliver para ba kung anong mga inutaw? Ato lang sa asay mong ate patudlo, ha? Kasi na kayo nandun pa siya ni Ana ang leksyon. Dili ako musugot nga mapakkang ang pagtuon sa atong kabataan. Bisan ubos kita sa pandemya karon. Dawata kining gasa sa edukasyon. Kinasing kasi nga halat gikan ning inyong pamunuan. Gidalik kaninyo ni Mayor Edgardo Labella. Vice Mayor Michael Lopez Rama, ang Chairman sa Committee on Education sa atong konseho, Department of Education, Cebu City Division, Cebu City Local School Board o Home Radio 106.7, kining Cebu City Educational Laboratory on Radio o Ed Radio. Ed Radio, atong dalit aron mas musayong ang pagkaton sa atong mga tinunan Gamit ang learning modules, pinaagi sa pagpaminaw sa ilang mga paboritong teacher broadcasters sa kahanginan. Tune in na sa 106.7 kay Matod ni Mayor, ang pagkatun kinahanglan magpadayon. Luka, anak. Andaman na ang imuhang module. Huwag maminaw ka sa head radio, kaya magsugod na ang imuhang klase. Yes pa! Andan ako! Come on, classmates! Pwede na pa mo sa ito ang klase, Karol? Maminaw ba ito ang tarong ni teacher, ha? Teacher! Andan na mi! Six learners. It's an awesome Thursday afternoon, and I hope you are all in good health. Your vacation is over, and since COVID-19 does not evade and continues infecting people, your home sweet home will be your avenue for learning. Now the school days are on their way. I wish you all a fantastic new school year. You are now tuning in to 106.7 Ed Radio. Welcome to the first episode of my broadcast of the Quarter 1 Lessons in Science 6. This is your teacher on air, Teacher La Arms. Keep me company for an hour as we learn together new concepts and skills in Science 6 from the different fun field activities. Get your Quarter 1, Week 1 module in Science, and the title of the module is Mixtures and Their Characteristics. Prepare also your pen, paper, and notebook. After going through this module, you should be able to define and describe the appearance of mixtures, compare homogeneous or uniform mixtures and heterogeneous or non-uniform mixtures, classify homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures, and give the uses of homogeneous 
and heterogeneous mixtures. The pretest was given to you ahead of time. So for sure, you're done answering all of the items. Now let's see if you got them right. You will compare all your answers from the key to answers found on page 12. What's the result? Were you able to make it? Don't worry if your scores are low. This means that this module is for you. I'm pretty sure that as we go along with our discussion, you can give better results in the next activities. I know that you have already learned different phases of matter in your early years in school. Let us find out if you could still remember this lesson. I will mention some materials and you will determine if each of them is solid, liquid, or gas. Number one, vinegar. Correct, it's liquid. Number two, helium. Yes, you're right, it's gas. Number three, coffee drink. Yes, it's liquid. Number four, bread. Check, it's solid. And number five, apple. Correct, it's solid. Wow, your memory is superb. You deserve to be given a yummy dessert. What is your favorite dessert? Do you like to eat halo halo? Why do you like to eat halo halo? Yes, halo halo is sweet, creamy, and yummy. If you will prepare halo halo, what ingredients would you like to use? Yes, you are right. The ingredients that you will use are different kinds of fruits such as banana, kaong, makapuno or silky coconut, jackfruit, obe, nata di coco, sago, milk, sugar, crushed ice, and ice cream. After mixing the ingredients for Halo Halo, what do you think is formed? Correct! A mixture is being formed. Now compare Halo Halo and coffee drink. Can you still see the components in each mixture? That's right! The components of a Halo Halo mixture can still be seen. But in a coffee drink, the particles are not anymore visible. In which mixture did the added substances spread evenly? Correct! The substances in a coffee drink spread evenly. Do you know that phases of matter when combined can form a mixture? And in fact, matter is a component of mixture. What is a mixture? Well, mixture is a combination of two or more pure substances, whether in solid, liquid, or gas, in which each pure substance retains its characteristics and properties. Most matter occurs as mixtures. It is difficult to keep substances pure. And matter tends to mix naturally like air, sea water, and pebbles. Examples of mixtures are a sack of rice grains with small stones. And it is a mixture of two solids. A glass of juice drink, 
is a mixture of powder juice and water. Air. Air is composed of gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, neon, argon, helium, carbon dioxide, and nitrous oxide. What have you observed when you opened a soft drink bottle? Did you hear a fizzing sound? When you leave it opened, gas eventually escapes. If you taste the soft drink, it remains sweet no matter how long you leave the bottle open. Soft drink is a mixture of water, sugar, and carbon dioxide gas. Mixture can either be a combination of solid and another solid, solid and liquid, or liquid and liquid. The solid and solid combination. Example, hamburger. It is a combination of bread or bun, cheese, onions, patty, lettuce, and tomatoes. Other examples of this combination are pepper and garlic and fruits in a basket. The solid and liquid combination. If the solid material is lighter, it will float. But if the solid material is heavier, it will sink and settle at the bottom. Examples are petals of flowers in a basin of water. Petals are like solid materials, so they will float. If small stones will be placed in a basin of water, the small stones will sink and settle at the bottom because they are heavier solid materials. Some solids will not dissolve when mixed with water, like sand, rocks, flour, and some solids dissolved when mixed with water like salt and sugar. Liquid and liquid combination. Some liquids when mixed to another liquid will eventually distribute and form one phase like vinegar and water. But in a mixture of oil and water, the oil will stay afloat no matter how much we try to mix them because oil is less dense than water. How are mixtures classified? Mixtures are classified as homogeneous and heterogeneous. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture that has uniform composition throughout. It could be in liquid or solid form. Only one phase is seen or visible after mixing the different components. Substances are evenly distributed and individual components can no longer be seen or distinguished from one another. Vinegar, soy sauce, sugar solution, and orange juice are examples of homogeneous because the components of these mixtures cannot be distinguished from one another. Other examples are air with no clouds and an alloy. An alloy is a mixture of different melted metals like steel. A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture that does not have uniform composition. It does not blend throughout. The individual substances or components are all visible when combined. Substances are not distributed evenly. Vegetable salad, cereal with milk, and a slice of pizza are examples of heterogeneous mixtures because the components of these can easily be distinguished from one another. Another examples are benignit 
and mixed nuts. At this point in time, you will perform an activity. The title of the activity is You Mix Me, You Mix Me Not. The problem. How are mixtures classified? So after performing this activity, you will be able to find out how mixtures are classified. What are the materials needed? You need to have different kinds of seeds and nuts, salt, water, spoon, and two glass jars. What you need to do? Number one, place the different kinds of seeds and nuts in a jar and mix them. Number two, label the jar as container A. Number three, fill the other glass jar with water. Number four, dissolve one tablespoon of salt in the water. Mix the two substances evenly until salt is completely dissolved. And number five, label the glass jar as container B. Safety reminders. Observe safety measures in using mixtures of solid and liquid materials. Wipe spills immediately to avoid accidents. After performing the activity, you will answer the following questions. Number one. When you combine the seeds and nuts in jar A, salt and water in jar B, what was formed? Number two, what happened when you mixed the seeds and nuts? Can you still see the components of the mixture in jar A? Number three, what kind of mixture did you form in jar A? Number four, what happened when you mix salt and water in jar B? Can you still see or recognize the components of the mixture? Why? Number five, what type of mixture did you form in jar B? And number six, how are mixtures formed? You will have five minutes to do this. Timer starts now.
time's up. We will now discuss what you have found out. When you combine the seeds and nuts in jar A, salt and water in jar B, what was formed? Correct! A mixture was formed. What happened when you mixed the seeds and nuts? Yes, you're right. After combining the seeds and nuts, they don't blend throughout and they are still visible. Can you still see the components of the mixture in jar A? Yes, we can still see the components of the mixture in jar A. What kind of mixture did you form in jar A? Well, it is non-uniform mixture or heterogeneous mixture. What happened when you mix salt and water in jar B? After mixing the salt and water, the salt is not visible anymore. Can you still see or recognize the components of the mixture? Why? Well, only the water is seen or visible because the salt is evenly distributed and completely dissolved. Only one phase is seen or visible after mixing the different components. What type of mixture did you form in jar B? That's right! The mixture in jar B is uniform or homogeneous. How are mixtures formed? Mixtures are formed by combining two or more components. Now let's move on to the next activity. In this activity, you will compare and contrast homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures using the Venn diagram found on page 9 of your module. In filling up the diagram, write one distinct characteristic of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. In the middle part, write one characteristic that made them similar or the same. Write the answer on your answer sheet. And you will have two minutes to do this. Trip in our favorite rocket ship, zooming through the 
Track your answers. Homogeneous mixture. Only one face can be seen after mixing. While heterogeneous mixture. Components can be seen after mixing. Similarities. They are produced when substances are combined. Homogeneous mixture has uniform composition throughout while heterogeneous mixture does not have uniform composition and it does not blend throughout similarities it can be a mixture of solid liquid and gas we will now proceed to the activity let's do more you will determine if the given phrases in the box describes homogeneous or heterogeneous mixtures. Write your answer on your answer sheet. The phrases in the box are Substances are evenly distributed. Each component is visible to the naked eye. Components can be distinguished from one another has no uniform composition, has uniform appearance, and component is no longer visible. You will have two minutes to do this. What are the phrases that describe homogeneous mixtures? The phrases that describe homogeneous mixtures are Substances are evenly distributed Has uniform appearance And component is no longer visible The phrases that describe heterogeneous mixtures are each component is visible to the naked eye. Components can be distinguished from one another and has no uniform composition. The next thing that you will do is to answer activities B and C. In activity B, 
you will identify if the mixture formed is homogeneous or heterogeneous. Write the answer on your answer sheet. In activity C, you will answer this question. What activities do you do at home that allows you to form mixtures? Cite two activities for each column. Write the answer on your answer sheet. You will have two minutes to do this. We will now see if your answers are correct. Activity B number one. Mixing ice cubes in water. If your answer is heterogeneous, then you are correct. Number two. Adding powdered milk to water. The correct answer is homogeneous. Number three, mixing sand, cement, and water. Very good. Your answer is correct. It is heterogeneous. Number four, preparing a juice drink. Yes, you're right. It is homogeneous. And number five, adding salt and pepper. The correct answer is heterogeneous. Activity C. What activities you do at home that allows you to form homogeneous mixtures? It can be preparing a hot coffee with milk and boiling water with salt. What activities you do at home that allows you to form heterogeneous mixtures? It could be cooking peanut pet or vegetable medley and preparing a fruit salad. Now let's proceed to the activity what I have learned. I will read each question and you will write the answer on your answer sheet. Number one, 
What are mixtures? Number two. How are mixtures classified? Number three. Give two examples of homogeneous mixtures found in our locality. Number four. Give two examples of heterogeneous mixtures found in our locality. I will give you two minutes to answer these questions. We will now check your answers. Number one, what are mixtures? Mixtures are combinations of two or more pure substances, whether in solid, liquid, or gas, in which each pure substance retains its characteristics and properties. Number two, how are mixtures classified? Mixtures are classified as homogeneous and heterogeneous. Number three, give two examples of homogeneous mixtures found in our locality. We have steel and also soft drinks. Number four, give two examples of heterogeneous mixtures found in our locality. They can be oil and water and sand and gravel. Now let's move on to activity what I can do. I will read the given situations and you will write the answer on your answer sheet. Situation number one. 
You helped your mother in making fruit salad for the birthday of your brother. You prepared all the needed ingredients and mixed them all. What type of mixture is fruit salad? What are the components? Situation number two. Your father asks you to prepare a milk drink. How will you do it? What kind of mixture have you created? I will also give you two minutes to answer these questions. Stop. Situation number one. You helped your mother in making fruit salad for the birthday of your brother. You prepared all the needed ingredients and mixed them all. What type of mixture is fruit salad? Yes, you're right. Fruit salad is a heterogeneous mixture. What are the components of fruit salad? The components of fruit salad are fruit cocktail, all-purpose cream, and condensed milk. Situation number two. Your father asked you to prepare a milk drink. How will you do it? Well, first is you will fill the cup with hot water. Then add powdered milk and sugar. Stir thoroughly until the sugar and powdered milk 
are evenly distributed and completely dissolved. And finally, let your father drink the milk that you have prepared. Oh yeah, you have created a homogeneous mixture. How do you find the activities that you have just performed? Were they interesting? Did you learn new things from them? Wow, that's awesome! Okay, pat your left shoulder and say, You've done a great job. Keep up the good work. Your learnings will be assessed by letting you answer the post test. But you will do this after this broadcast. I'm sure that you can answer each item correctly by yourself. That ends our session for today. You have spent an hour in listening, participating, and performing in the different activities. This is Teacher Laorne saying, Thank you for your time, patience, and active participation. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. See you next week here in your favorite station, 106.7 Ed Radio. Be happy, stay healthy, and don't forget to pray. Bye! Luca, anak, kamusta? Humana ba inyo ang klase? Oo pa! Ang daghana po niyo mga bago na katunan ka ron. Di ba, classmates? Wow, very good. Classmates, magkuyot pi ang ihapunta sa sunod na itong aklase, ha? See you! Maokanto ang atong pinasingkasing na halag alang sa atong mga tinunan aron ang pagkaton magpadayo bisan pa man sa mga kabagtuhan na resulta sa pandemya. Dalit ka ninyo sa Cebu City Government Local School Board, Cebu City Council, Department of Education, Cebu City Division, o sa Home Radio 106.7. At ang ang sunod na klase sa kahanginan Hangtod sa sunod gayon, ayaw si Piata sa pagpaminaw sa Ed Radio tungod kay ang pagkaton kinahanglan magpadayo.